look at all, but as you can see, the liner looks awful. They advertise a lifetime warranty. Well, that's worthless. Rhino liner, uh, applicator, and two. Uh, this is some of his handiwork. Let's take a look. Look at the extreme fading, discoloration, uh, peeling. Oh, we got some more peeling over here in the corner. You know, I've been on the phone with um, I believe they're in California. I've spoken to in their warranty department now over the course of probably three to four months trying to get this resolved uh, because Mr. the guy who uh, did the application on this truck, um, didn't do a good job of uh, masking off the truck. And I don't know if it'll pick up in this camera or not, but you can see I have a, a line all the way across my hood, about six inches where it's faded, and if you look at the roof of the truck, it's faded as well. Overspray from the application um, was all over the roof and the glass and the front of my hood, and I was able to get it off the glass, um, but uh, I can't seem to get it off the hood. And at the dealership, and has made four or five appointments to come see me. However, he fails to show up. Uh, empty promises time after time. You can see the scratches here where he trimmed it. Um, just a really, really poor job of applying this rhino liner. I don't recommend getting a rhino lining to anyone. Um, they don't stand behind their product. Um, they don't stand behind their, their dealers. If you have a problem, they, they blame it on the dealer. And when the dealer fails to do anything for you, uh, rhino lining just tells you, Oh, well, there's nothing we can do. I don't think this consumer should be suffering uh, by any means. I paid, uh, I think it was $525. You can also see several places uh, where it's peeling up along the underneath side of the bed, all the way around, all the way around. Piss poor uh, taping job. And I don't think it's going to show up, ladies and gentlemen. If you look on the all the way around the trim, there's red uh, red spots all over from where he really did a poor masking job. I was able to get most of it off of the glass here, but uh, the rest of it was terrible. Let me see if I can get up here. And look how faded the roof is compared to the side. And it's, you know, most people say, "Well, it's the roof. You know, it's exposed." But uh, you might be able to see the difference in color in the hood. There's a, uh, right at the windshield washers, there's uh, a change in color where his tape line was run across. I told Rhino Linings that I was going to post this video up on YouTube, and their response was, they really didn't care. So, anyhow, think twice before you uh, decide to get a Rhino Liner put in your truck, because like I said, their customer service is the worst I've ever encountered. In the warranty department might as well not even be there because she doesn't do anything to help you. They will, however, tell you they will call you back by the end of the business day. I've heard that I don't know how many times, and guess what? I'm still waiting for that call back at the end of the business day. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with one last look at this nice and crappy-looking rhino liner that has really, really in my opinion, room to value of my truck. It looks horrible. There won't be any more trophies won with this vehicle, I promise you. So, is this Rhino Liner? Is this the quality of the work? The material? Is this what I paid all this f***ing money for? You've got to be kidding me. Well, wow, what great stuff. Can't wait to do a final liner on the rest of my projects and all my customers' vehicles. This is a joke. It's unacceptable. It's absolutely freaking -lutely ridiculous. I'm so glad I wasted so much time and money. Alright, so you can see there's two layers because the dealer didn't bother to clean anything of the mistakes he did before. And uh, when I pull this, I've already cut it up top at the firewall so that maybe I can salvage something of my money since Rhino Leonard couldn't give two s about helping me.
Oh yeah, these are the holes for my master cylinder access that uh, he was supposed to mask off that I have nuts walled to the 